Hi, I'm Erin. I write for Panda Daily. Um, could you talk about the, uh, the copycat situations that you guys have had in the last couple of years? Um, when it happened maybe like one or two years ago, it was kind of interesting because you guys have always been seen as this underdog in the glasses industry, and it was the first time that you were really defensive and sort of like almost some reports like made you guys look like you were bullying these like little companies that were just trying to sell glasses. And as you grow, you're probably going to see more and more people trying to copy your model. So I'm curious like what you learned from that and maybe how you would have handled it differently and how you plan to deal with it in the future. Um, I'm so glad that a person from the press asked that question <laughs> because a lot of our strategy in dealing with it has a lot to do with um, how the, the press reacts when we react uh, a, a certain way. So the first thing is that um, copycats suck uh, and the reason why they suck is because once you see them you get this terrible pit in your stomach and you feel like crap, right? You feel like somebody stole from you. Uh, and then you look at your team and your team uh, is uh, demoralized. They see uh, what was months of work uh, that somebody else probably just spent a, a couple of you know, days uh, sort of building or, or ripping off. Uh, and then they look to you and you know, as their leader, they're looking for you to have like, a pretty strong response. Now, earlier we could, when we were a bit smaller, like maybe we could mess around a bit more um, and uh, try to you know, discredit them in, in, in some way, um, maybe through an article. Um, and really demonstrate, like, look at these two photos, like, this is outrageous. Or, you know, in the early days, uh, Bluefly uh, had launched uh, iFly, which was a copycat of ours, and actually used some of our imagery. And that was, like, really messed up, right? Um, and not to mention illegal. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, the business impact, at least for us, has been minimal to non existent. So, the, the response from us now is, you know, let's stay back a little bit because uh, by overreacting, uh, we potentially raise more awareness from them and invite uh, perhaps uh, an overreaction from the press saying that, you know, we're being defensive. Um, so actually, almost the bigger that you get, your abilities to respond get a little bit less. Yeah. Um, uh, which is interesting because you finally have the capital to actually fight a legal battle <laughs> if you wanted to, uh, but now you don't want to because it's going to play on the press and, and you're going to get screwed. So, you know, for us, it's, it's just been also just like prepping the team to say like, I know there's this emotional reaction, but I need you to think about this as a decision maker and as a manager, and you need to look forward. Um, and it's really hard for copycats uh, to really get traction. I think it's particularly in today's day and age where everything is so visible thanks to the internet. Um, so uh, we don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. Uh, you know, one of probably the worst instances of copycatting of all time was uh, when uh, Skechers uh, launched Bob's yes. I thought that was a joke the first That's three times I, I saw also. the commercial. I thought it was like on and then, the and, then, or and the font is almost exactly the right. same. I was like, it's got to be a partnership yeah. if it's not a joke. Like, it was really egregious. It's, it's outrageous, like, to the point where it's, it's, it's a joke, it's, it's silly, but the fact that, like, Skechers is a big company, so mm -hmm. I, they are making money through this, and uh, what drives me crazy is that retailers are actually selling Bob's. So like Zappos, which is a company that I love and respect, but they sell Bob's. And it's like, why, why would you do that? Somebody there has to sort of draw a line mm -hmm. and say like, we're, we're not going to carry product because it's just like, Have you asked wrong. them? Have you asked Tony? Um, no, I haven't. I probably should. All right, I'm going to then. <laughs> I'll find out the Don't answer. Tell it came from me. You um, realize this is recorded. <laughs> this is not a secret, Neil. Did you think this was a secret broadcast? But, I, but one of the things was, I, I forget, I think it was like an ad week or somebody. Somebody wrote like an op-ed uh, basically um, listing Bob's as like this like do-good company along with Tom's and something else. And it was like 
late at night, I had been working probably like 14 hours or so, and you're kind of like in a weird yeah. place, and you probably really shouldn't be sending emails. So I fired off this not. like nasty email to this guy, like, listen, like, why are you giving this company credit? Like, for, I looked up his background, and I'm like, first of all, you have um, no standing to be talking about social enterprise, uh, first of all. Second of <laughs> all, um, you are, uh, pretending to be a brand expert and then are mentioning yeah. like Bob's like look at what they've done like are, are you unfamiliar with this uh, I think you need to be more responsible when you're writing in a public space and of course he wrote me an email back that was like listen I just write one op-ed piece a year like I, mm -hmm. I, I am not an expert of this thanks for bringing this attention um, maybe we can talk about it and grab coffee and it's like this is like worst case scenario because now he's going to like suck up more of my time just because I was like having a hissy fit one night. Um, <laughs> but maybe if more people did that, that would be a good thing. I don't know. Right. <laughs> so you will or will not continue to take on copycats? Because when it comes to the Sommer brothers, I really respected that Jason Goldberg was like, no, fuck you guys. This is wrong. Whereas like, you know, not to pick on Brian Chesky, but like Airbnb and Smothers were like, we're just not going to say anything, you know? I mean, sometimes you do have to call this stuff out, don't you? Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, I hate Rocket. I hate the Somewhere Brothers. I hope they die. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I, right now, I want to say, like, super quiet so they don't come after me. <laughs> like you just did. I mean, again, <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> but, but I do think that our our business is, is much harder to copy because yeah. it's not a platform business where first mover advantage is so important. It's about building a brand and uh, building a brand is so much about authenticity. You know, the, uh, the Samware brothers, their MO is to try and hire former management consultants and MBAs. Right. Um, and as much as I love my, those guys. my MBA <laughs> brethren, uh, the vast majority of them don't know how to build a brand. And certainly if they're taking a job at Rocket, it's probably not in their DNA. So I'm, I'm less worried about those folks. Um, but it's something like we're, from day one, we've been filing you know, trademarks in, in all these other markets. Uh, the challenge is some of these other markets, it's not uh, first to file, it's first to actually do business. Mm -hmm. And it would be um, a real misallocation of resources for us to like go into the Philippines right now. Right. Um, Right. So uh, we will have some battles in the future, like there's some Australian copycat, I, I forget what it's named, but it's like, why her or something. <laughs> 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 we, we had also, this is actually really funny, um, we, we got a customer calling us that's like, I placed an order on your website and um, my glasses never arrived. And we're looking up and his name and email isn't in our system and we're like, how did, like, uh, we don't know what to tell you. Like, you didn't order with us. And lo and behold, uh, there was this Chinese company that had, um, was buying Warby Parker um, sort of AdWords and then directing people to a site that looked exactly like ours. Oh my um, God. But had like a weird name at the top uh -huh. um, and was basically just people would check out, they would just charge their credit card but weren't <laughs> shipping anything. <laughs> Just like, the amount of messed up stuff there is out there. Wow. Uh, uh. <laughs>